Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to Nifty Paradise. So in today's video, we're going to be doing a uh, spark plug and ignition coil replacement for a 2015 Camry. Uh, this is also for these years right here on the screen. So if your car is like one of these years and your engine looks like this, then this video is for you. So let's go ahead and get started. All right guys, so the first thing you're going to do is this plastic cover has to come off. So it just literally lifts straight up. There's a few little points where it pops onto and you just go ahead and set that aside. All right, so right here on top of the engine, you're going to see four different, uh, these are pretty much like the heads of the ignition coils. There's going to be a 10 millimeter bolt on each one, and there's also going to be wires with clips on each one. We're going to go ahead and pop off the clips. So you notice that there's a little tab right here. You're just going to push down on this backside, and it just wiggles right off. So we're going to go ahead and do that to the other three. And we're going to go ahead and pull off these four 10 millimeter bolts. So now we got those unscrewed, we're just gonna go ahead and pull straight up on these. And up and out. So next we're gonna pull out the spark plugs, but to do that, you're gonna need a spark plug removal tool. They're pretty much socket sets, and I'm actually gonna be using the 5 eighths for this one. The reason I suggest these is down inside, let me see, I don't know if you can see, there's a little rubber piece down in there that actually pops onto the head of the spark plug. So when you unscrew it, you can pull it straight up and out. There's gonna be a link in the description down below for all the tools like this, as well as uh, like ratchets I'm using, these extensions, because you definitely are gonna need an extension to get down into where the spark plugs are. So definitely check out all the links in the description down below to pick up all the tools that you're gonna need for this job. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and drop this right down into the hole. I'm going to push down so it kind of hooks onto the top of the spark plug, and we're just going to go ahead and unscrew it. All right, so now we have all the spark plugs out. What we're going to do is we're going to put the new ones in. Uh, this is actually what I'm putting in right here. These are pretty legit. Like a lot of people use these, even a bunch of big auto stores use them. Uh, there's going to be a link in the description down below so you guys can go pick up a set of these for your Toyota. Also, there's gonna be a link in the description down below for the ignition coil, so definitely go check those out. Links are gonna be down below. Uh, you'll see like a whole list of them. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and put the new spark plugs in the little socket, and then we're going to drop it down into each cylinder. Now I say do not use power tools on this because you definitely do not want to uh, end up stripping this somehow. So I always use it like hand tight. There we go. And now we're just gonna go ahead and do the other three. All right, so now that we have all the spark plugs in, we're gonna go ahead and drop in the new ignition coils. Like I said before, there's gonna be a link in the description down below, so definitely go pick some of these up on Amazon. Just gonna go ahead and drop in. Obviously, you wanna line up the hole with where the screw's gonna go. And I would suggest just drop them all down in there first, and then we can go ahead and put the screws in last. Then we're just gonna use the 10 millimeter and tighten them all down. All right, so now that everything's back into place, the screws are all tightened down, we're just gonna go ahead and push on each connection. And you wanna make sure whenever you push it on, you hear the click. And once you put all those on, the whole job is done, other than dropping the cover right back in place. And just like that, it's done. All right, so if this video helped you guys out, definitely go down and hit that like button down below. Subscribe if you wanna see more videos like this. And if you wanna pick up all the parts and tools I use, there's gonna be links in the description down below for all that stuff. But like I said, if the video helped you out, definitely put down the comments down below. Let me know if you have any other questions, but like, subscribe, and as always, thank you for watching.